everybody, welcome. We are here today at Disney's Animal Kingdom because we are gonna be trying out the Tusker House restaurant for breakfast. We've actually been here before for dinner and it is one of my favorite restaurants on property. It is absolutely delicious and I can't wait to try breakfast because we've never had it here before, but the menu looks amazing. So let's go ahead and get in there. It's time to go, I'm starving. I think they're calling our number. Now right behind me is the entrance to the Tusker House restaurant. This whole entire building is Tusker House, but it's funny because as we keep walking, we walked by here and I kept hearing a baby crying. And I was looking around, I'm like, there's no baby anywhere. Like there's there's literally nobody standing here. Um, there's a couple people now, but before there was nobody here. And I was like, what is that baby? I keep hearing a baby crying. Is somebody leave a baby in the bushes? Um, and then eventually I realized it's just sound effects. They have like a baby crying as sound effects. Now they have um, like a woman or somebody singing, maybe some kids singing, um, as though they were like calming down the baby. Uh, I, for the, I was sitting there like, what is that baby crying? I was, I was worried, and it's totally just sound effects. So <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. Why is there baby crying? I'm so excited to go to Tusker House. We've been there for dinner one time, and it was kind of during the COVID era where, um, I don't know, things might have been different. I, I've never had it non-COVID era, era, so this is my um, first time and my first time for breakfast. Last time they brought us like skillets of like meats. Mm -hmm. I remember bread and desserts. I, I just remember being stuffed when I left. Um, hopefully the breakfast is good. It probably is. I typically like Disney's breakfast um, no matter where we go. So I'm wondering if it's the same as other restaurants in Disney or if this one will be unique at all. I know. I remember there's Safari Mickey, Donald, Daisy, uh, I think Goofy. Uh, so the characters are really fun here. They're some of my favorite characters. So I think they have them for breakfast. I'm not actually sure. They did for dinner. So we're just gonna go in there and find out. Okay, so, all right, so we're in. We just sat down um, and I'm happy to report, um, or I'm happy depending on what you're looking for, that it is back to being a buffet. So it's no longer bringing out sort of the family style dishes. It still was all you care to enjoy when they were bringing out the skillets during COVID when we were here. Um, but it was always a buffet prior to that. And it looks like they finally have brought the buffet back. And there are so many options on the buffet. I just want to start by just kind of scanning and going through the whole list of all the things that are in the buffet. You're going to be shocked. There's so much. Okay, I'm going to take a look at this buffet here. Um, see what they got. Looks like they have a toaster there, but they have all these different pastries. Yum. Zebra coffee cake. That looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, this part right here, I'm cool. Not for me. I don't like that, like, smoked salmon. Yeah, that's a hard pass for me. Capers. I'm cool on that part. But for people that like it, it's a good little spot. What do we got here? Some overnight oats, hard-boiled eggs, some yogurt. Some toppings. I did see there was oatmeal over on the other side too with a bunch of different toppings. We got some salads here. Black eyed pea salad, watermelon feta salad. Look, there's Donald Duck in his little safari jacket and his hat. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, they said Mickey's almost here. We were getting our food and the waiter came and told me that Mickey was in our area, so we had to go back. Look, it's Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Oh, I got it. I'm gonna. This is a multitasking thing. I got to video it and take a picture. Okay, let's see how it goes here. Mickey likes her ears. Okay, let me see what I can do here. Okay. Oh, all right, I think I got it. I think I did it right. Ooh, they have a African malva bread pudding with blueberry and banana. Honestly, it looks kind of weird, like the colors and stuff, but. I think it's because of the blueberries and bananas. Actually sounds good. Sounds better than it looks. Chicken curry? Uh-oh, they got rice and chicken curry. Watch out, Candy might have to give that a go. What else do we got here? Ooh, we got some fresh Mickey waffles. They have some Simba waffles. Regular pancakes. Big giant vat of ketchup. Bacon, sausage, tater tots. AKA potato barrels. They don't like to call them tater tots at Disney. They call them potato barrels. Ah, look who else is coming over our way. Donald! 
We're going to have to get him here in a sec. Donald's here. Woo. Let me get a picture of Donald. Let's see if I can do this twice in a row. We'll do a picture and video simultaneously. Yay, we got Donald. I love Donald. He's the cutest. He's so cute. Hello. Ooh, man, those breakfast potatoes. Oh, Candy's going to be having a field day with those, I'll tell you there. Shakshuka. I don't know what shakshuka is, but it looks like an egg. Some sort of like soft-boiled egg or something with some, I don't know, tomatoes and bread. That looks weird. Vegetable frittata. Some salsa. Tandoori inspired roasted tomatoes. Huh. Feisty green beans, more potato barrels. They have an impossible boba tie. I don't know what that is. Looks like they got a cool little cereal station here for anybody that likes cereal. Looks like they have probably off brand Fruit Loops, Rice Krispies, and Frosted Flakes. They also have a fruit station. Actually, the fruit looks really good too. It all looks really fresh. Also had an omelet station uh, where you could order your own omelets. It was a little bit odd, the omelet station. It wasn't very well advertised. It was like a little, a little tiny sign in the corner over where the eggs, or actually not even where the eggs were. There was like some omelets laying there that were already pre-made, um, but they're making them behind, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, and then I kind of had to like get someone's attention back there, and then they came over and I said, "Is this where the omelet station is?" They said, "Yes." And then I ordered my omelet. Um, and you had a choice of like cheese, spinach, onions, tomatoes, ham, bacon. And I just basically got everything. Um, and then they gave me my omelet. Uh, Candy got the same thing. She got an omelet um, with no tomatoes. I got an omelet with everything. Her omelet looks really good. Um, it looks like a normal omelet. And then they gave me my omelet. Take a look at this. So this is what they gave me for my omelet. I was like, uh, wow, this is, uh, <laughs> this is interesting. It's like all like sh tore up and shredded, which it's just a presentation thing. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it fell when they were trying to put it um, on the plate. At the end of the day, I don't really care. As long as it tastes good, it doesn't matter to me. I'm sure it's going to taste the same, but I just thought it was funny. Okay, I feel like I got uh, one of everything. I didn't really, but like there's like literally no room on my plate. But um, I was like, I'm going to try everything. Um, I got this black eyed peas like salad thing. I was like, what is that going to be? Um, and it's actually really good. It's like kind of has a vinegar base. That's really good. Kind of like a refreshing part of your plate. Um, the omelet I tried, um, it's okay. Um, it's no Steve Noble omelets. Uh, his omelets are the best. It's fine, but I've had better omelets. Like the egg is really, really thin. Almost like a crepe. That makes sense. The ham I love. It, back in the back, I had kind of had to reach for it. They had like a pile of like these birds ends of the ham. 
and um, so I got like all of them. <laughs> I got like the whole little pile because that's the part I like is like the dry like it burnt ends. Um, I also got this uh, curry chicken and rice. It's not my favorite. Uh, no, it doesn't taste like curry. It's just not my favorite. It's not disgusting. It's just like, eh, and it tastes like dinner food. I, but I was like, oh, I'm going to get it. Also, I got these uh, spiced green beans. I've noticed they have at other restaurants here at Disney. Um, I've never gotten them. They're actually pretty spicy. Um, and I love green beans. These aren't my favorite. Once again, I knew when I put it on my plate, I was in the mood for breakfast, not dinner. So, um, you know, it's whatever. I just wanted to try them. I got one kielbasa. I haven't tried that yet. Um, the breakfast potatoes and bacon are amazing. The ham's amazing. Um, so far, those are my favorite things. I saw blueberry muffins up there, which I will be getting. But I had I had too much on my plate. I didn't have any room. So one other thing, it's freezing in here. The three hostess at the front had big winter coats on, like long winter coats. Freezing. So I got a coffee just to warm myself up. It is really cold in here, but I've started to adjust to it now, so it's not bothering me. But it was really cold uh, when I first came in. Um, so I got a bunch of stuff too. Let's talk about what I got besides my busted omelet, which I haven't tried. Actually, let me just try it real quick. I'm curious. She said it's not as good as a Steve Noble omelet. So we'll find out. Um, I will say I did ask for everything. Um, and then I double checked and they were like, this is the everything, right? And I said, yeah. Um, I don't see everything in here. I see no spinach, I see no tomatoes. All I see is bacon and ham. That's all I see. Yeah, so omelet, nah, I'm gonna pass on that. Um, it's, it's not great. There's a lot better things, I think, on the plate. So I think if you're coming here for the omelet station, which I don't know why you would be, it's not gonna be a good choice. Because um, the omelets, I don't know, honestly don't know if the people that are back there making the omelets know how to make omelets. Um, but all the other food looks amazing. Let's let's take a look. So they have this special jumbo juice here. I really like it. I don't know what it is. I think it's like a a cross between like an orange juice and like maybe a papaya or mango juice. Almost tastes tastes like a little grapefruity, but I, I it might be I don't know, but it's a light flavor. It's not a strong flavor. It's not like super sour, or super tart. Just kind of like a light. Maybe it's like a papaya juice. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had papaya juice, but I feel like if I did, this is what it would taste like. I actually like it a lot. It's really good. So what I did when I went up there is I got a traditional plate of breakfast foods um, first. So I got uh, the. The, uh, the, the crispy like fried potatoes, which Candy already talked about. I got regular like scrambled eggs. I got some bacon here. I did get that uh, smoked like kielbasa that she was talking about. And then I got this piece of bread. Um, I think it's just like a regular piece of bread, wheat or white bread or something. Um, but it looks so cool. It was like a sunset. I was like, I have to get, I gotta, I gotta get this. I'm sure it just tastes like a regular piece of bread. We'll find out. Um, but it looks so cute. So my plate, just a traditional breakfast, but then what I did was I got a whole plate of a bunch of stuff that maybe I normally wouldn't get or try. And so I did get the um, the like curried chicken with the rice, um, but I also got this impossible like casserole. I don't know, it was called impossible something or other. I don't know what's in it. And then I got this, that special like African bread pudding with the blueberry and banana, which looks weird. It almost looks like moldy bread, but Hopefully it tastes good. And then I got a, one of those spiced tandoori tomatoes. So I don't know. Well, I'm going to try this plate first because it looks interesting to me. I, I kind of already know this is going to be good. All right, let's start out with the uh, the curry chicken. Because you said this was just okay, not your favorite. She didn't like it. It looks kind of tomato-y, so maybe that's why. I don't know. I kind of like it, honestly, but it's not really spicy. There's not a lot of kick to it, is there? Um, what you, what did you not like about it specifically? I'm curious. I didn't like the chicken. The chicken. I didn't like the pepper. Yeah, the chicken is like um, cause it's like maybe it's just been sitting on a buffet and probably don't a lot of people aren't getting curry chicken this early in the morning. The chicken just isn't like it's just been sitting there for a while. The rice is fine. The flavor's okay. 
it's just kind of like a salty tomato-y flavor. There's not a lot of like curry flavor to it or spice to it, so not my favorite curry chicken at Disney. I do want to try this impossible, this weird impossible thing. I don't know, impossible casserole. It's actually not bad. It kind of tastes like a bit like salty sausage. It's kind of all I can taste, like a very salty sausage. Um, but also not bad if you're a vegetarian or vegan. Um, I think it's actually a pretty decent option. It's got like a little bit of like spices to it. Not not like heat spice, but like some sort of interesting spice flavor. I can't quite put my finger on. All right, now let's try the tandoori spiced tomato. Check this thing out. I don't know. I love tomatoes. Candy doesn't like them. I'm just gonna hold it like this and take a bite. Tandoori spiced tomato. It's all right. Honestly, it doesn't really have any flavor other than just a tomato. I don't really taste any sort of like spice to it. No tandoori flavor. It just tastes like a cooked tomato, which I like cooked tomatoes, but I don't know what, I mean, it's not tandoori spiced. They need to amp up the flavor on that. If you're gonna call something tandoori spiced, it probably should taste like tandoori spices. I don't know, something. Okay, let's go in and let's try the moldy bread. I don't know. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it besides moldy bread because it just looks like moldy bread. I think it's just the blueberry, like the blue and the blueberry, but it just looks like busted moldy bread. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try it. It's okay. Actually, I'm gonna go in for another bite. It's a, it's a African, I think, bread pudding or something. I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. Um, it could be a little sweeter. Like it needs some like texture. Like a little bit of like crunchy, a little bit of like crunchy sugar or something on top. Um, and I'm not getting like strong blueberry or banana flavor. Honestly, it just tastes like a slightly sweet bread or bread pudding. It's got that texture of bread pudding, you know what I mean? So it's okay. It's not bad. Um, I could eat it. It's not the worst thing. It's probably the best thing out of the things that were on the weird plate that I got. Look who's making his way around. We got Goofy coming. Man, Goofy really scooched down there for her. That's funny. How cute is he? He's tall. He's really tall, actually. Okay, it's a buffet, so I had to get another plate of stuff to try. I'm excited about this plate too, because it has, da da da, the Mickey waffle. Everything tastes better when it's in a Mickey shape, so I had to get a Mickey waffle. I also got a Simba waffle. Check it out. Simba's on there somewhere, kind of hard to see. And then there's a big giant dollop of butter on there. And I got the zebra cake. I think maybe it's zebra coffee cake, I'm not sure, but um, it said zebra cake, so I'm gonna give it a go. Huh. I literally cannot take how cute Daisy is. She's so cute. Her little tail. Her little tail. Look at it. Look at her little nubbin. It's so cute. Did you try this zebra cake? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. This is really good. I thought the coffee cake was really good. It would have been better if it was warm, but that's just me. Um, I, I, but I still really liked it. I ate all of it. Um, and I loved the blueberry muffins. They're the same blueberry muffins they have all throughout Disney. They're nothing too like fancy or special, but I like them. Um, and 
I have three of them. They're like this big. Um, what else did I have? Oh, I tried the strawberry cream cheese, but it really tasted like strawberry yogurt. I did not like that really. Um, the uh, regular cream cheese just tasted like regular cream cheese. I tried it on a bagel. It was good. I had some pastry with some sort of fruit filling on the middle, in the inside. Um, it was pretty good. I like that they have big sh sugar granules on the outside, but I only had like one bite. I didn't because I was full when I got my like dessert pastries or whatever. Um, but I was like, I want to try it all, so I did. My favorite thing was probably the African bread pudding with the blueberry and banana. It was warm, I uh, very warm actually, and I liked it a lot. Let's go, Mickey Waffle. I like my waffles drowned in syrup, so. Mm. It's just better. I'm sorry, everything that's shaped in Mickey it's just better. I mean, this is, this is all there is to it. It, it can't be. It can't be argued. I really like it. Um, the Simba waffle. Simba waffle was basically the same. Same thing. Just shaped like Simba, like a little Simba medallion, but it tastes exactly the same. All right, we're done eating. What did you think? Oh my gosh. It was really good. I'm stuffed. I can't eat another bite. <laughs> I'm stuffed. <laughs> I could not eat another bite yet. Somehow I probably would if I was still sitting in there. I was ready to go. Like we, we were there so long that Donald and Mickey came back around a second time and hung out with us. And I got more pictures <laughs> and more videos. I'm gonna throw a few pictures that up that we got while we were in there. I'll throw them up right now with the magic wizardry of editing. A bunch of pictures. Um, it was so much fun. I love the fact that you got to see so many different characters. Um, and so this gives you a little hint of it. So they gave us these cute little postcards. Check them out. Look how cute these are. And they also have the signatures of all the characters that we got to see. So we got to have the little signatures so we have Donald, Daisy, Goofy, and Mickey. All the characters told me they liked my outfit and my uh, ears. They didn't tell me anything. <laughs> I mean, they gestured. <laughs> they did. They and they gave you kisses too, right? Yeah, they do. I don't know if it's a button, because they kiss me frequently. I feel like it's a button. I feel like if they were doing it with their mouth, I wouldn't be able to hear them. I never hear the kisses, because I don't really, <laughs> no one ever kisses me, but she says she hears it all the time. All so. Time. I um, I love that place. I think it, the food was amazing. So all the like standard fare, like the bacon and the eggs and the potatoes, all that stuff was just so good. Um, stand, I love breakfast food. So for me, any Disney place that has breakfast, I'm usually, I like the food. Yeah. All the weird stuff that I got on the on the second plate, I'm cool. I didn't think any of that was, it was weird. It's and like I like lunch and dinner. I knew I wasn't gonna love it. Look, there's a horse over there. There's a little lizard, see him? Look how cute he is. Um, I knew I wasn't really going to dig any of that stuff, that weird stuff on the plate, but I always like to try stuff to see if it's any good. Um, and I think it's okay, it's just not for me usually. Uh, but all the normal food I thought was awesome. And I love the fact that you get to see Mickey and Donald and Goofy and Daisy. And their safari outfits. And they're in their safaris and they're doing their little dancing. And I just think it's cute. I think Tusker House. So this is, we've done dinner now and breakfast. Lunch, I'm assuming, is the same as dinner. We've done dinner and breakfast. Basically, we've had their whole spread. I think Tusker House is one of the best restaurants, the best character dining restaurant experiences in all of Disney for me. We were actually at that one for longer than any of the other ones we've been at. We were there forever, I feel like. We were there forever. Again, we, we saw them twice. Well, a couple of them. So, I, uh, I think it's hands down amazing. So, if you are looking for a di character dining experience, I also love Chef Mickey for the characters. Minnie wasn't there. Minnie is the only person that you're not going to get to see, which is kind of, that stinks, but you can see Minnie at a bunch of other places. So everyone else though, you get, I mean, look at that. You get all these different characters at one location. All you can care to enjoy buffet. Um, how much was it per person? I think it was only like maybe 40 bucks a person. Cause it was around a hundred dollars for the food plus the tip and everything. So I think it was like with, with tax and everything. So like maybe 40, 45 bucks a person, which I didn't think was that bad. 
I loved it. Thought it was amazing. It was a great experience. I love the theming in that restaurant. I love all the little masks, and you just feel like you're in a safari. Um, it was freezing in there. Freezing. She was cold. I started to get I had warm. Two coffees just to get warm. They kept saying jumbo, like jumbo, jumbo, and I, I don't know what it is, but I looked it up, and I meant to ask our waiter, and I forgot to ask, but I looked it up, and um, I think it means hello in like a Swahili dialect or language or whatever. So I think it's supposed to mean like a like a, a greeting. So I think they were saying that over and over again, but I don't know, we should ask the waiter and I forgot, but um, it was so cute. Anyhow, highly recommend Tusker. You recommend it? Yeah, definitely. My favorite was the ham potatoes and the banana, the, the bread pudding, the African bread pudding with banana and blueberry. Those were my favorites. Yeah. So overall, we had a great experience. Hope you enjoyed this episode and check it out. Let us know what you think of Tusker House and if it's one of your favorite dining locations or if you have other ones that you think we should definitely do a video on. We're making the rounds. We're doing lots of different videos on lots of different restaurants. To me, this is one of the best in my opinion. So definitely check it out at Animal Kingdom. Thanks again for joining us. Until we see you next time, no boy. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.